So I'm deciding to make another dog food video because it seems like my first one was really popular and I wanted to streamline the recipe, make it easier to understand, and a little more scientific. Let's get to it. Select what is inexpensive from your local market. The important thing is to have a wide diversity of ingredients to maximize nutritional inputs. This formula has 30% each of proteins, vegetables, and legumes, plus 10% other homemade supplements. I use chicken hearts and fish, which were cheap, plus a few livers, which I boil for about 13 minutes, then drain and reserve the meat juice, then finely dice in a processor and set aside. The total weight of this meat batch was about 1350 grams, which will be used as the base. Here I use two types of beans and some leftover rice. After cooking the beans, drain the water and puree with a hand mixer, adding some meat juice if it's too viscous. Mix everything together, then set aside. Since some of the veggies will be boiled, don't worry about peeling. cook for about 12 minutes. Drain most of the water, smash, then puree. Leave the carrots, ginger, and turmeric raw, medium grate, and they will be added back to the pureed veggies. I save every used eggshell and after a couple weeks I bake at 300 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes then grind to a fine powder. Eggshell is very nutritious, they contain calcium, protein, magnesium and selenium which is great for bone health and other things. The final step is to measure a batch of feed using the proportions set up in the beginning. You take the smallest batch, in this case the meats, which weighed about 1350 grams and use that as a base measure. Measure out about 1,300 grams of the bean batch. Add that to the main batch. Then measure out about 1,300 grams of the veggie batch. Adding that to the main batch. Finally, add the supplements of seaweed, eggshell, fresh eggs, and a moderate amount of flaxseed or fish oil if you have it. Remember, not too much salt. Mixing is both an art and a science, taught in process engineering class. For our purposes at home, do the best you can to homogenize these medium viscosity ingredients, cavitating by hand with a wooden spoon to deagglomerate the feed batch. Take your time to review these lists, what is good and bad for dogs, and remember, when in doubt, leave it out. Moment of truth. Number one. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, you like it, huh? He loves it. Moment of truth. Number two. Four. The Aussie juice. There's the Aussie juice. Oh, he's lapping it up. Thank you, Master. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Many more to come. There's... Oh. You want to walk? Yeah. You want to walk? Ah, Jesus. Yay! Yay! Sorry about that. I hope that video was useful and easy to understand. If you have the time, homemade food is always the best option. Tonight, I'm going to finish with a Ron Sacapa, aged 23 years, probably the best rum in the world, and a My Father La Opulencia cigar. Keep cooking until next time.